countries helping Russia fight the war. In 2018, Putin triumphantly spoke of restoring Russia's military might. Russia boasted of having the world's second most powerful army. Most Western experts agree the illusion was shattered on February 24, 2022. Over the following eight months, Russia's military has become a laughing stock. So Moscow is desperately looking for assistance. China, Kazakhstan, and Armenia said no, but some countries have been less scrupulous. Let's take a look at them. 1. North Korea. This might be the most humiliating development so far. For decades, the Soviet Union supplied arms to North Korea. Now Moscow is pleading with Pyongyang to share them. Specifically, it has received artillery shells. These are apparently old Soviet shells for 152mm guns. This means Russia is critically low on ammo. What does Kim get out of it? Some military tech, most likely, and highly sensitive to boot. There is just nothing else left to offer. Sure, Kim doesn't have any allies to turn to when it comes to R&D. But that doesn't mean he'd give up his arsenals for nothing. 2. Iran. Russia seems to revel in its newfound pariah status. Maybe that's why it's turning to such unsavory regiments. The Islamic Republic of Iran is an unlikely ally. After all, Russia is friendly with Israel and lets them hit Iranian targets in Syria. Before the Ukrainians, Russia's favorite bad guys were Islamic extremists. Any incident in Russia was invariably blamed on jihadists. But the Molocracy can afford to be magnanimous. That's why they've been selling loitering munitions and drones to Russia. That's why they've also agreed to supply sure range missiles. No mid or long range ones, though. Apparently, Iran doesn't trust Russia to keep its tech secret. 3. Belarus. Belarus is Russia's only real ally in Europe. A ruthless dictatorship. It had become isolated long before 2022. Ironically, its leader Lukashenko was once called Europe's last dictator. Meanwhile, Russia and Belarus were busy forming a union state. Belarus is now no more than Russia's client state. Russian troops entered northern Ukraine from Belarus. Belarus has provided airfields, hospitals, and military bases for the Russians. Lukashenko has openly pledged his support for the war. Russian and Belarusian groups conduct joint exercises. However, Belarus has not sent any soldiers to the battlefield. 4. Hungary. Hungary is a mild example compared to the Three Stooges above. After all, it's still part of the European Union. This technically makes Hungary a hostile nation under Russian law. But Prime Minister Viktor Orban is clearly in love with Putin. The right-wing leader has often praised Russia. Budapest is very dependent on Moscow for oil and gas. It has refused a proposed EU-wide embargo. Orban has not allowed military aid to Ukraine to pass through Hungary. He has blocked Finland and Sweden's move to join NATO. And he still wants Russia to build a nuclear power plant in Hungary. 5. China, Syria and others. China's help has been limited and inconsistent. Beijing has provided Moscow with critical electronic components and raw materials, but it's refused to give weapons or service Russian credit cards. Syria is Russia's staunch ally but can't offer much. Hundreds of mercenaries from Syria and Libya fought in Ukraine in spring. What happened to them is anyone's guess. Eritrea, Venezuela, Sudan, Cuba, and Nicaragua have all declared their support for Putin, but it's not like they've got any firepower to spare. 